when I looked at the back, when I first purchased it and opened it up and started looking at all the settings and things that you could put on it, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I immediately, first thing I did when I, when I opened it up, I looked at it, uh, and then I took out the book and I read the whole book. Unbelievable uh, results that I can see so far. I haven't a lot of, had a lot of prints, but everything that I've done um, on, on digital, on the, on the computer and everything, looks great, looks fantastic. I'm having to do less work in Photoshop now uh, because I can set my I, ISOs high enough uh, and get my manual settings right so that the pictures look good to begin with and not have to, I uh, need to lighten this up a little bit here and I need to lighten it up there. Um, but uh, I think the, the, the biggest thing for me is the, the exposure looks so much better. I'm able to shoot it at a higher shutter speed and higher f-stops and the higher ISOs all combined together. And uh, so that just really makes uh, the images look so much better. The images are, uh, are sharper. I'm actually seeing uh, a lot more crisp images than what I would have. Uh, and whether it's the focus system itself or whether it's the, uh, uh, the higher ISOs, the higher f-stops, uh, the images look so much better. With those higher frames per second and the, and the frame rate, uh, those two seconds, uh, those two frames actually add uh, to the possibility of catching that one photo that I want to get, uh, whether it's on a dunk or whether it is uh, being able to uh, track focus uh, a player and to follow him for 10 frames a second. Uh, it's just uh, amazing to me the images that I'm getting at that burst rate um, and being able to follow the athletes.